We're now ready to connect the lighting fixtures in our Revit MEP project into a series of electrical circuits. We'll be adding electrical panels to distribute power to the circuits and switches to control the lights. Let's start by adding the electrical panels and creating the power distribution systems. We'll open the Level 2 floor plan in the lighting section of the browser. Then open the Electrical Equipment tool in the Home tab. We'll use the selected electrical panel board type and use the Place on Vertical Face option to place this panel on a wall in the utility room near the stairwell. Let's zoom in on the wall and place the panel on the left side. Then we'll scroll down to the electrical circuit properties for this panel and confirm that the distribution system is set to the desired system properties. Next, we'll create a lighting circuit to connect some of the light fixtures to this panel. Let's return to the Level 2 floor plan and we'll pan and zoom in the view so that we can see all of the lighting fixtures placed in the corridor. Right-click on one of the fixtures and then use the Select All Instances Visible in the View command to select all of the fixtures in the corridor. The Modify Lighting Fixtures tab appears and we can choose to create a new power or switch system for these lights. Let's use the Create Power System tool and the Electrical Circuits tab appears with options for creating the circuit. We'll start by showing the wire connections between the fixtures, using the arc wire convention to specify that these wires will be concealed. Arc wire segments appear between all of the selected light fixtures, showing that they are connected into a circuit. Now let's select the electrical panel for the circuit. Click the Select Panel tool, then select the panel that we placed in the utility room. Now we'll connect lighting fixtures to switches and create a switch system for the circuit. We'll look at the retail space on level 1. These pendant light fixtures have already been connected into a circuit and linked to a panel. Let's open the device pull down on the home tab and select the lighting switch tool. Use the type selector to choose the desired type of switch. We'll use a single pole switch for these lights. We use the Place on Vertical Face option to place the switch on a wall. Let's set the elevation for the switch to be 4 foot 6 inches, slightly higher than the standard 48 inches. Then we'll zoom in near the entry to the space and click to place a switch on the wall. Having placed the switch, we can now create a switch system to indicate which lighting fixtures this switch controls. Right-click on one of the fixtures, then use the Select All Instances Visible in the View command to select all the fixtures in the space. Open the Create Systems panel, and this time only Switch System tool is available, because a power system has already been created for these lights. Choose the Switch System tool, and the Switch Systems tab appears with options for creating the system. Click the Select Switch tool, then zoom in and select the switch. Lines appear in the plan view showing all of the fixtures that are connected to the switch. You can review all of the power and switching systems defined in your project and the elements associated with each system in Revit MEP's system browser. Switch to the View tab, then open the User Interface drop-down to turn on the System Browser view. And it appears below the drawing area. The System Browser lists all the MEP systems. You can expand the Electrical, then Power section, and you'll see the Lighting and Appliance panel boards placed in the project, and the circuits assigned to each panel. Each circuit shows all of the fixtures assigned to that circuit, and the total load created by the fixtures in the circuit. This entry in the system browser corresponds to the panel that we placed on level 2, and the circuit for the corridor lighting fixtures.